Welcome to the world of Octiform. The following video will take you through a step-by-step -step process of a basic Octiform installation. Now before receiving your Octiform shipment, talk to your Octiform representative for correct shipping weight. Crates may contain up to 900 components and weigh up to 4,000 pounds. Also ensure that the equipment used to unload the crates is capable of handling the size and weight of each crate and unloaded relatively close to the job site. When setting up the bracing, make sure the braces are set up square and level, as this will reflect in the walls. Bracing the walls can be built with wood, steel frame, tube and clamp, and ICF bracing. To determine the best method for the job, verify the local safety code, consider the height of the walls, and understand the local weather. Once ready to assemble the panels, the fun starts. Crates can be transformed easily into assembly tables. Remove the crate ends from both sides and then fasten the ends to the top of the crate. The next step is to fasten two 2x4s two to the top of the crate at one end. Once you've completed that, the crate is now ready to be used as an assembly table. To start the assembly process, place three panels face down. Then slide in four connectors into the panels. When you have completed this, the next step is to slide the top panels into the connectors. Once a section is completely assembled, carry and place the panels neatly in an elevated area. It is also important to note that this area should be dry. When stacking the panels, be sure to stack them parallel with the wall. Cells should be stacked no more than three high. Failing to follow this could potentially damage the panels. When installing the walls, start with a corner. Lift the panel over the foundation dowels and stand against the bracing. Then tack a nail into the top corner, level down, and tack a nail once again in the bottom. Group four to six connectors together and place connectors to the corner end of the pre-installed panel. Then install bent horizontal rebar through the group connectors and panels at predetermined spaces. Separate connectors and then slide a six inch panel to the bracing side. Install all the outside panels and then pull the wall tight. After a corner is set, continue working down both sides of the wall. Make sure to leave a six inch space between previous sections. Join the two sections together with a six inch panel. Make sure to place the panel to the bracing side. On the 6 inch panel that you just installed, add in the missing 45s or connectors before placing your rebar. Approximately every 20 feet an outside ladder must be installed. This will help with blowover and straightening of the wall. For T-wall intersections, determine and mark out the T-intersection location. 
install a full panel at the start of the intersection and fill panels back to the center of the wall. Group four to six connectors together and place connectors to the corner end of the pre-installed panel. After this is completed, continue placing full panels connected off the T-wall. Make sure all octoform webs are in place before placing rebar. Once 20 feet of octoform wall is in place, slide rebar in from one end at predetermined measurements and repeat at every 20 feet. Vertical rebar should be placed in same spacing as foundation dowels. Tie vertical and horizontal rebar together and install missing panels. <laughs> For making your opening such as a window or a door, determine and mark out your opening location along the bottom plate. Step two of this process has you installing a full panel at the start of the window location and then you fill panels back to the center of the wall in a similar fashion to the T-wall assembly. For the next step, install a full panel at the adjacent side of the window opening. Work away from the opening towards the center of the wall. To finish the window location, panels need to be cut to job specifications. Then install the octoform panels under the window, working your way once again to the center of the window opening. Once assembled, place rebar and insulation in the panels located underneath the windows. Once all the components are installed, place window buck into the window opening. The next step is to install bracing into the buck. To finish the window process, place lintel rebar into adjacent panels. Then slide the last octoform components into place, once again working to the center opening. After all components are in place, slide lintel rebar over the window opening. Insulation can be added at any point during the build, as long as all the octoform components and rebar are in place. Before placing any concrete in the octoform walls, inspect to ensure there is no missing parts or insulation that may be improperly fitted. Also, check concrete mix to make sure it meets job specifications. Concrete should be placed in the octoform at no more than 5 foot high lifts per 45 minutes. When placing concrete, the hose should be swayed in a pendulum motion. Vibration should begin shortly after the placement of concrete. Vibration will help to avoid honeycombs, pockets or voids, and air bubbles, and thus maximize the concrete strength. The octoform walls should be pressure washed throughout the pouring of concrete process. If these steps are followed, your octoform building will be of the highest quality with durability that will last many years. For more information, please refer to our construction guide located on our website, www.octoform.com, or call our field service technician, Octoform, forming your imagination. Thank you.